Hi, and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today we're going to be working on some trash to treasure or reusing, recycling, repurposing um, trash and recyclable items. So first we are going to be using this old frame that normally I would have just donated to Goodwill or just recycled. Um, it was one that I'd made years and years ago, but you're also going to need some popsicle sticks. I got these jumbo ones at Walmart. I think there were three something, but you get a whole bunch in that pack. So I'm just starting by giving this um, frame a good sanding. I had painted it white a long time ago and I just wanted to rough it up and give it more of a rustic look. You could use, um, you know, any size frame for this. Basically, we're um, kind of making a either like a plant stand or a trinket type stand or anything. I guess it depends on the size of your frame. So I'm just taking those popsicle sticks and basically this is going to be the top part of our little stand or tray. And I cut it down to the size I want because I want it to hang over the edges just a little bit. So I am using this little handy dandy tool to cut them because I got this for Christmas and there's a bunch of DIYers that make this look so easy <laughs> and I don't, I don't know. I, I don't consider myself wimpy, but for some reason I could not cut through these popsicle sticks. It didn't matter how hard I tried. I just kept having to go over it in the same spot over and over until basically it broke. <laughs> It was just kind of funny how much I was struggling. It always looks so easy on other videos. So I just measured the rest of the popsicle sticks that I'm going to need and just kept cutting away. And I didn't show you most of it because we would have been here forever. Oh my gosh, you guys, is there a trick to this? Then after I got them all cut, I just went ahead and sanded the edges. I kind of sanded them to have rounded um, edges and corners. And I'm just going to give them a nice natural stain. So I'm using the antique wax and some of this brown paint in, mixed in with a little bit of water just to dilute it a little bit. and then just coated each stick. And I was actually really happy with the color after I wiped off um, the stain or faux stain. I thought it was really pretty. It looked really natural. What do you think? So I know I haven't done these trash to treasures in a long time and I know you guys seem to really love them. Um, I, just, I have a bunch of ideas. I've just been kind of I don't want to say overwhelmed, but I, I overwhelm myself, I guess, with ideas. I need to just write them down because I have all these ideas and then don't end up doing any of them. So I just need to write them down, make a list and, you know, prioritize. So anyway, I am taking some wood glue and dotting it around the edges of the frame. And then I'm going to use hot glue. You guys have seen this a million times. This is more for an instant hold where the wood glue is more of a permanent hold. So I'm just, that's how I'm attaching these little um, uh, tongue depressors or popsicle sticks. And I want there to be a ledge or a hangover on both sides and also um, the front of the tray or stand in the back of the stand. So I just went ahead and did that to all of them. And I wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all your sweet loving, caring comments and your prayers from my last video. I really do appreciate it. Um, my husband really appreciate it. He kept popping onto the video and reading your guys' comments and I don't know. We just thought it was really, really special and really appreciate you guys. So thank you so, so much. It, it really made it a little bit easier to deal with. So this is it all finished. I hope you guys like this one. I thought it was really easy, but it turned out really pretty too. And you could do so many things with old frames. I have a few ideas. Hopefully I can actually put them into a video.
For this next one, I'm just using this um, peach jar. It's a nice size and nice shape. I thought it was really pretty. And I'm just going to remove the label. And if you guys have problems with the residue, I always go to using Goo Gone, hot water, and um, one of these scrubby brushes or scrubby sponges. You can get them from the dollar store. And if you soak it first in hot water, just for a couple minutes, and then use this Goo Gone and this sponge, it works perfectly. You just scrub it and you're good to go. Rinse it off. Probably wash it off so you get the residue if you're going to spray paint. And I am using this plutonium spray paint. I got it for a really, really good deal at my local hardware store. And I'm just giving the jar a really good coat. Okay, so it's not the color I was expecting. I need to get one of those spray paint tents. I think that would be awesome just so it's not going into the air so much. So because this wasn't the color I was expecting, I'm using this other color. It's a little bit later. Looks like the name is Twig. And I am coating over some of this burgundy or wine color. I was hoping it was more of a brown because the lid looked brown to me. So after it's dry, I am using some soil. This is actually some gardening soil because um, it's what I had just right next to me. And I wanted to give it that um, really roughed up um, pottery look that I've been seeing all over. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, it just looks really like old and like it's been sitting out in the weather for a long time. So all you have to do is just take some soil or dirt and just rub it onto the surface of, you know, whatever vessel or vase or jar that you're using or pot. I have a couple pots that I want to do this to. But basically you're giving it like a really dirty look and you can keep layering it. Um, I've seen some people spray paint it with the clear and then go over it again with dirt. But the more pressure that you use with the soil, I notice the more... Um, I don't know, dirty it looks and ground down that it gets. And then after you're done, you can spray paint it with a clear coat. So I thought this was really pretty. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Like I said, this isn't what I had in mind. I wanted it to be actually like a brown color. This is more of a reddish, but I think it's still pretty. For this next one, this one isn't so much a decor piece as it is like a functional piece. It's just using one of the Clorox, Clorox disinfectant wipe containers and I am using these colors. First I'm just removing the label. And you can use the same thing, the Goo Gone, if you need to get the sticker off. And then I'm just taking a sponge and doing like a um, sponge coat onto the container. I just think it looks kind of cool. You don't get the brush strokes as, as you would with a paintbrush. And then I'm just taking the brush and brushing into the little grooves at the top because the sponge wasn't really getting in there. And because when I pushed the lid back on, it took some of the paint off, I'm just going to paint the top or the rim edge of the lid. And after it's dry, I think it makes the perfect container to hold plastic grocery bags. I don't know about you, but we have so many that we just kind of shove in a drawer. You could also use this for your car, for like garbage bags and stuff. But really you could jam so many in here. <laughs> And you could decorate it with like stencils or words or whatever you wanted, make it really pretty. And then just close the lid. And it fits perfectly in our cupboard in the laundry room. And it's super easy to get the bags out. We use our bags, we reuse the bags for like scooping the litter and stuff.
but I thought that was super cool. Just really easy little hack. So for this one, we're going to be using these. Um, it, it is a trash to treasure because I actually picked these up on the side of the road. My husband and I saw them. They had quite a few stacks of these nicely wrapped. Oh, my cat wants to say hi. Hi, baby. Okay, so I'm going to be using these as a DIY. I'm going to be using this which was used, um, it was actually taken off a piece of wood that I used in one of my last videos, and I know it upset a lot of you, but I do want to let you know I am reusing it, so it was not harmed. I mean, a little bit, but I think it kind of adds to it. <laughs> so then I'm going to be using some antique wax, which I um, added some water to, a hammer, some wood glue, some tacks, and the tools that I'm going to be using to put this all together. And I'm actually down in my living room because I wanted to be where my dog was. She's really hurting today. Um, she's got a torn um, CCL. So it's similar to our ACL, I think. But she's really hurting and she's kind of, um, I don't know, kind of been depressed. So I wanted to be down here with her. We're still deciding on surgery, but she is kind of an old girl or some other form of treatment. So, so to start, I'm taking these um, pieces of wood. I don't know if they were used maybe for a fence or something because they all have holes in them. Um, but I thought I would just alternate. <laughs> and you could always fill those in with um, some wood putty if you wanted. Um, but I'm going to start by gluing these together and then I will clamp them until they're dry and then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of stain. I do like um, some of the natural color because it's, I don't know, it's kind of pretty. And this is the wood glue that I like to use. It's paintable so um, I don't know about so here I'm just running a strip of the wood glue down each of the little wood planks and then taking a clamp and if you wanted you could add little dabs of hot glue on the end just to um, hold it even more than the clamps would but the clamps usually hold it really really tight and you just leave it for a couple hours if not overnight and then you have a nice solid piece. And I have a whole bunch of these pieces of wood that I picked up on the side of the road. I think they're really pretty colors and I have a couple ideas. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. And here I'm just taking some of that watered down um, antiquing wax and I think I added a little bit too much water because it actually dried lighter than I wanted it to but I think it was still still turned out really pretty so I'm just giving it a couple good coats of the watered down um, antiquing wax and then what I did was just set it out on our deck because it was a really sunny day just um, to dry it up a little bit quicker And I have, if you're interested, if you like um, thrift hauls or garage sale hauls, I have one going up on my other channel if you want to see what I've got recently. And I will actually have another one coming up shortly because we're going to a really big like community-wide garage sale tomorrow. Um, so hopefully, cross your fingers, that I find some good stuff. And then I'm using these tacks. I think they're usually like furniture tacks. And I'm going to be attaching that 10 um, commandment sign that I took off of the one from my last video. And then I'm just attaching it to this sign that I made. I thought it would be really pretty with the different colors of the wood. And I know it's a little bit roughed up on the edge right there, but it's, I think it adds to it a little bit.
All right, guys, I know this video was super quick. I hope you got some good ideas or some inspiration on repurposing and reusing some of your trash or recyclable items. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate all of you and just wish you the best and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.